Hi, welcome to what's happening here at Top 5 Stories. At number 1, the Finnish ambassador to Nigeria, Lina Pilvenenan, has been summoned by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs over misinformation, disinformation, hate speech and incitative comments by a Nigerian Finnish lawyer and Biafra agitator Simon Ebba. The ambassador was called up on Tuesday. At the meeting, Foreign Affairs Minister Godfrey Anyama, represented by the Minister of State for Foreign Affairs, Zubair Rudada, expressed displeasure over the orders given by Simon Ekwa to his teaming followers to consequently embark on killings, maiming, burning, and other destructive activities. The Ekwa led faction of the outlawed indigenous people of Biafra has reportedly declared that elections will not be allowed to hold in the Southeast and had declared the period of the elections as it at home. And number two, the Department of State Services on Tuesday said the interrogation of the former Minister of Aviation and Director of Special Projects and New Media for the All Progressive Congress Presidential Campaign Council, Femi Fanny Kayode, is not over. The DSS invited Fanny Kayode on Monday over a series of tweets he made over the weekend alleging that some high-ranking military officers met with the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, to plot a coup. Fanny Kayode later admitted that he was wrong by failing to clarify things with relevant authorities. The SS further warned political parties and their media managers to exercise caution in their utterances so as to avoid hitting up the polity as the general election approaches. At number three, the presidency has said that neither the federal government nor the Central Bank of Nigeria had taken a stand on the continued use of the old 200 naira, 500 naira and 1000 naira notes as legal tender seeing that the case is still pending before the Supreme Court, which will be heard today. The senior special assistant to the president of media and publicity, Gaba Shaw, said the FG will make its position on the new NARA policy known after the determination of the suit on Wednesday. Meanwhile, Kanu state government on Tuesday warned that it would not hesitate to revoke the operational licenses of major business owners or take action on anyone who refuses to accept the old NARA notes as a means of transaction. As number four, the Anambra State Police Command has rescued 15 members of the National Youth Service Corps abducted by government in the state. The core members were said to be going to Lagos after their three weeks of orientation program before their vehicle was intercepted at the Hiala area of the state. The police public relations officer in the state, Ikenga Tochuku, confirmed the rescue. Tochuku, a deputy superintendent of police, said the gunmen kept the NYC members hostage and were trailed by police operatives. At number five, the federal high court in Abakli Kidia Boyin State Capital on Tuesday disbanded the Southeast Security Outfit Ebubagu in the state. According to reports, the disbandment was a consequence of several alleged human rights abuses, extortion, illegal arrest, and illegal use of firearms by the security outfit. The court ordered the Abuja state government to, as a matter of urgency, pay the sum of 50 million naira to a former commissioner for information in the state, Chief Abia Onyike, who the security outfit in November 2022 allegedly abducted and tortured for over two hours in the state. That's all for now. See you next time on what's happening.